assalamu alaikum students you are doing indices and in this video you will learn how to solve equations involving indices there is a working rule for this concept that if you have this type of equation x raised to power a is equal to x raised to power b in this equation you can see that on both sides bases are equal like uh, in left hand side the base is x and index is a similarly on right hand side the base is x and index is b you can see that on both side bases are equal if two bases are equal their indices will also be equal so in this situation you will have a is equal to b for example if you have x square is equal to x raised to power n in this situation the value of n will be equal to 2 similarly if you have uh, x square <coughs> or uh, you know so if you have uh, 2 raised to power x is equal to 4 and you are supposed to find value of x in this equation i have told you that if you have same bases you will have equal indices so you know that on left hand side the base is 2 so you will try to make same base on right hand side you will try to make 2 as a base of right hand side you can uh, you can write 4 is equal to 2 square now two bases are equal to 2 is equal to 2 so the indices will also be equal you will have x is equal to 2 so there is a small concept using this concept we will try to solve these equations involving indices look at this equation on the le left hand side we have 3 raised to power x into 3 raised to power 9 and we can use this law first law of indices to simplify left hand side we know that uh, we will if we multiply these two expressions in which we have equal bases we will have to add indices so this will become x plus 9 now we can see that on both sides we have same bases equal bases so we need to equate both indices x plus 9 will be equal to 13 and finally x will be equal to 4 this is solution of this equation similarly uh, we can do here you know that here on that right hand side we have fourth root of 3 raised to power 5 this is Fourth root of three raised to power five. You know that we can multiply index with index, so this will become three raised to power five over four. Again, you can see that we have same bases, so our indices will be equal. Here, x will be equal to five over four. Look at this equation. We are supposed to find the value of n in this equation, and if we uh, want to use this rule to find the missing value. we need to make both bases equal here base is 4 and on right hand side the base is 2 we have to make both bases equal we can write 4 as square of 2 and again you will multiply 2 with n now in this situation we can see that both bases are equal now you can compare both indices because bases are equal here so 2 and it is index of left hand side will be equal to n minus 1 which is index of right hand side so n will come on the left hand side and it will become negative and the value of n will become minus 